what it be, what it do. Welcome back to the stew. It's Kendall and Ivan here to talk to you. Wow, Kendall, can you believe it's our last day as main anchors? I know. It was a short week, but it feels like it's been going on forever. For sure, dude. I'm so ready for the weekend. Well, TJ, we have a couple of announcements for you, but a lot of them are so you're prepared for next week, so pay close attention. Next week, there's going to be another fundraiser. It's automatically better than the one than the class of 2024 because it's for the class of 2023. Let's go, juniors! It is going to be October 4th through the 8th at Slices, so go get yourself some pizza. Monday and Tuesday, the fundraiser is from 4 to 8 p.m., and Wednesday through Friday, it is from 11 to 4 p.m. Mmm, sounds delicious. Let's go see what sports has to say. Hey, what's up, TJ? It's Con. And Grace, bringing you the sports for the last time this week. Yesterday, tennis had a game against Northfield and unfortunately lost 5-2. Better luck next time. Yesterday, all three volleyball games won against Fort Lupton. Great job, volleyball. Today, gymnastics has a meet today at 6 tonight, so make sure you wish them luck in the house. Softball also has a game this afternoon at 4 o'clock, so come out and support them. That's all for this week, TJ. Have a great weekend. Hey guys, it's Erin and Teresa from Gymnastics. We have a meet this Friday at Gymnastics Plus, and there are no spectators allowed. And then we have another meet on Saturday, our Think Pink meet at 8 a.m. at Lakewood High School. Be there, TJ. <laughs> Hey, this is Juliana from Girls Softball. Uh, we have a game today against East here, so come out and support or wish your girls luck in the halls. Uh, probably, probably ball game. It was really good. It was really fun with all the crowds and all the cheers we had. Yeah. How's a bully, band, uh, bully ball game last night? It was great. We won uh, in three. It was senior night last night, so I'm thankful for everyone that came out for us. I'm thankful to be on this team, and I, like, I'm going to miss it, but thank you for everyone that came out. It was awesome. At one point, she was like, <laughs> saved it, and then, like, spiked it. It was really cool, guys. <laughs> Thanks, sports. Hey, Ivan, you know what else is next week? What, Kendall? The TJ Vocal and Instrumental Concert. So cool. The Vocal Concert will be on Tuesday at 7 p.m. in the auditorium, and the Instrumental Concert will be on Thursday at 6 p.m. on the front steps. Wow, that sounds like it's going to be awesome sauce. I bet news today is awesome sauce as well, so let's send it to them. You know what day it is, Red One? Uh, no, not that I know of. It's October 1st. I mean, Spooky Month officially begins? Do you have any news for us? Of course I do. To start off Spooky Month, Venom, Let There Be Carnage, comes out in theaters today. After that very mediocre first movie, some critics who have already seen the movie say it's a dramatic improvement. From what I've heard, don't tell anyone I told you this, you might want to stick out for the credit scene. I won't spoil it though, but you should check it out. See some of you there, maybe. There's some big news about the government currently. Biden now is going to sign the last minute deal to avert government shutdown. The Senate also passed to avert a government shutdown that would have to affect hundreds of thousands of federal workers and slam the economy even though it's struggling to recover from the pandemic. All with just hours to stave off a crisis. Crisis averted. Crisis averted. I was going to say that. <laughs> well, you didn't. Okay, whatever. Enjoy your weekend, Spartans. Don't forget, basketball. 8 to 10 girls in the gym here on Saturdays. Boys basketball, 10 to noon. So, open gym. Come join us. I feel super informed. Thanks, News. Ivan, do you like working? <laughs> of course. I just can't stop working all day, every day. Well, then you might be interested in the Sam's Club Internship Program. The Sam's Club Internship Program is a full-time or part-time program that pays $16 an hour and lasts for 8 to 10 weeks. It will be from October through November, ideally, and you have a chance to get a college degree with no cost. So make sure you go visit Mr. Mason in the counselor's office for more information. All right, TJ, it's Friday, so you know what that means. Your favorite teacher is in the studio. Hi there. TJ, today I'm here to talk to you about something very serious, TikTok. As Mr. Scari said, some of these challenges, like devious licks, um, could get you in school and or legal trouble, and others can be dangerous to your health. You probably think I'm talking about the milk crate challenge, but 
I was talking about the one where you slap your teacher. That won't end well. Not only is that assault, but you might end up on a movie on the Lifetime Network called Hashtag These Hands. The true story of a teacher who snapped and slapped an entire classroom full of students like he was trying to beat pinata candy out of them. So instead of displaying the bad side of social media, how about we have some positive stuff? TJ, how about the no credit recovery challenge? What about the show up on time to all your classes challenge? TJ, I am challenging you to show what being a Spartan is all about. Tag me, Jackson Sensei 303, picking up trash, turning in your homework, sprinting to make it to class on time, any of those things. And at the end of October, I'm going to pick a winner and bless you with a pair of custom Air Force Ones of any anime theme you choose. All right? I do it. I got to drift. Come on, TJ. It shouldn't be a challenge to be a good person. If you're doing dumb stuff just to gain some likes and views from people you don't know, then you don't know Jack, son. So cool. <laughs> well, it's been a great week with you, TJ, as your main anchors. Peace, Peace out, out, TJ. Good morning, TJ. Pool here. Uh, I've got two things. One is awesome. The other, not so awesome. Uh, first off, Congratulations, senior night, volleyball last night. Um, a lot of you guys that were there left trash in the stands. That's not how we do things, TJ. But how we do do things is pick up after one another. So Ben, Nina, Randy, Campbell, Maria, Ava, Sadie, thank you guys for picking up after your peers. I really appreciate that. All of TJ does. That's what we like about the Spartans. And on another note, those of you eating over in the park, you need to clean up after yourselves. If we see you leaving trash out there anymore, you won't be allowed to go out there for lunch. Spartan up, you guys. Have a good Friday. Thank you. All right, good morning, TJ. It's Mr. Scarry. I just wanted to go over um, some of our policies. It seems like some of you uh, are not aware of what the rules are this far into school. Uh, maybe even a refresher course for some of our teachers as well that are maybe being a little too lenient with it. But yeah, I just want to make clear, no hoods in the building. We're letting you wear hats. We're letting you wear do-rags. We're letting you do all these kinds of things. Do not wear hoods because what we, we know what you're doing. You're wearing your hood to cover your earbuds so you can listen to music and not learn. All right, stop doing it. No hoods in the building. Um, after the late bell rings, the teachers are going to close their door. Do not get upset when a teacher closes their door. You are late. You go get a pass uh, and get back to class. You need to speed up a little bit. Uh, no food and drink in the hallways other than DECA cookies. But DECA cookies got to go in your bag before you walk in the door. All right? So no food and drink. So don't bring your Starbucks in. Don't crack a Red Bull in class. Stop doing it. All right? Uh, personal electronics are only to be used when a teacher tells you to use them. If not, keep them in your bags and put them away. If a teacher tells you to put them away and she sees you using them, she's going to take them. The second time she takes them, she's going to give them to me. All right? So stop using your personal electronics. Uh, other than that, last thing, stop asking to use the bathroom every period, every day. If you got to go to the bathroom seven times a day, you need to see a doctor. All right? Stop doing it. You're wasting time. You're losing instructional time, uh, and it's going to catch up with you. That's all, TJ. Be good to each other. Thank you. Yo, TJ, do you like ice cream? If you do, and how could you not? The Dairy Queen located at 4650 South Yosemite Street in Greenwood Village is having a BOGO Blizzard sale for the entire month of October. As long as you show your TJ ID, you can buy any size Blizzard and get one for free with no limit on quantity. So make sure you stop and buy and get some ice cream for yourself. Woo! Hi, Rosalind. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I need to show you something, actually. Take a look at this. Why does she have to be so arithmophobic?
What's your guys' biggest pet peeve? When people chew gum really loud. Um, mine is when people stand in the hallways and block it. People that litter. People that don't know how to drive. Uh, probably getting interrupted. You know what? People who use the slippery slope argument all the time. I think it's lazy. So no one told you life was gonna be this way. Yeah, your job's a joke, you're broke, broke. your love life's DOA. It's like you're always stuck in second gear when it, when when it hasn't, hasn't been, been your day, your week, your month, or even your year. But I'll be there for you when the rain starts to pour. I'll be there for you like I've been there before. I'll be there for you.